Vulgarity agitates in every human soul. The purpose of manners and taste is to constrain and hide vulgarity, not to deny its existence. In past ages, every man could be vulgar, but vulgarity for its own sake was exercised from that which society thought it would leave as a legacy. Nowadays, vulgarity is an artificially imposed cultural order, and those who do not adhere to it are guaranteed to be mocked. The television, the radio, the internet, all have ensured that vulgar action, thought, tastes and language have colonised the world. Anybody with a real will to resist modernity ignores what is fashionable. We cannot limit our understanding of vulgarity to that which simply lacks taste, however. We must also include that which actively eschews taste, since the latter is a more painful aspect of the modern world than the former. Vulgarity is not what the crowd does, but what pleases it. There is nothing left for modern man to rest upon but the sterile rigidity of the law and his own vulgar lusting for material pleasure. In the modern world, popularity guarantees vulgarity. Only religion is capable of being popular without being vulgar, although it is necessary to add that the liturgy in modern vernacular is def definitively vulgar. The dead classical languages offer a refuge from vulgarity because they are not degraded by constant misuse, as our contemporary ones are. One must believe in God to avoid vulgarity. The only honest alternative is utilitarianism, which may not be vulgar per se, but nevertheless concludes with it. Anything else is a fit of rhetoric. This subject is a particularly sore one for the reactionary. In many cases, the political right, at least distantly, aligns with his thinking. But today, the right goes on in its endless vulgar degeneracy, as does the left, all colonies of vulgar taste. Societies ruled by an aristocratic minority enforce a civilization because it keeps the rulers safe. Modern society, ruled by representatives who represent increasingly large masses, can afford to be as vulgar, cruel or rude as they wish. In ancient societies, the great mythic or historical heroes were the standards of human life. Their mere existence was exemplary. In modern democracy, only those lacking in every admirable quality are raised to sainthood. Heroes are those who eschew taste and embrace vulgarity. Civilizations cannot exist if only vulgar instinct reigns over them. In order for new civilizations to be created, congenital vulgarity must be almost totally silenced. The most rebellious thing is to have good manners.